wanted to show you guys a little trick so as you know i've got these in my bedroom but i feel like it's time to change um to change the images let me see if i slant you this way it might be brighter yeah i think it's time for me to change the images so what i did was let me show you i wonder when they say diy budget this is what I did, right? So I printed out these at work. And I've got a couple of options, but I will show you everything when I'm done because I want that guy downstairs to help me choose. So I've got a couple of options here and I printed them out at work using the work lap, uh, printer because it's pretty good. <laughs> so I printed them out at work and I'm gonna add them onto these so that we can change up the look of the bedroom uh slightly ever so slightly but they're really really pretty and some of them are a little bit more colorful which i like and uh yeah just change things up and then you save them the ones that you don't want to use and then you switch it up every now and again okay so i picked these in accordance with typically how um the linen on my bed works you know linen wise so um kind of match it up with the colors that i would typically have running in the bedroom so that's why we have these colors but they're very pretty and i am gonna set them up i'm gonna switch you off because i need to to, to speak to somebody and then i will show you how it looks when i'm done just go uskalo john just come back home. Ngangpur. Asia. You know what I'm gonna need? Do you know what I'm gonna need? I'm gonna need a bit of, I'm gonna need a bit of tape or press stick. So there they are. Um forget the fact that they're not straight. I need to finesse that a little bit. But that pretty much just adds a little bit of a change. I feel like that one there. I'm gonna change to something more colorful because those two are colorful. So I don't know, but right now they're not even sitting straight and they're driving me nuts. <laughs> Probably it for this video. I've got a, a sock on my head because I'm just sick and tired of seeing my hair, basically. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon editing it and it will be ready in the next day. All right. Good morning, chaps. How are you? Um, it is Tuesday morning. I'm giving you a little bit of an update before I leave the house. This is going to be the beginning of a vlog, basically. That's how it is. That's how it works. That's how we roll. Um, so the vlog essentially really started yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. Went to work, came back. Um, I'll put in a little bit of footage here now so you can see. I am going to a wedding next weekend, which is the 2nd of December. And um, is it the 3rd? It's the 3rd of December, I think. Um, and I, it's a traditional affair, okay? And I had to go get a traditional dress done. So because of that, yesterday when I came back from work, I had to drop off the material at the designer's place um, and I was there and to get my measurements um, I won't show the dress until I get it back I already have a certain design it's gonna be a long one and all of that it's gonna look really really good um, and I've had dresses designed there before so I'm really really excited and I'm looking forward to that um, then after that, I came home and it, it's just going to be a rather long week. There's a lot that needs to happen. I'm currently in the stages of planning the giveaway hampers, which is a lot. Uh, but the giveaway hampers is basically going to be some of my favorite things. And I have a company that I love so much that is going to be sponsoring some things that are going to be in the giveaway. So that's also really, really exciting. And um, there's, there's that. So I need to, today, this morning, I need to be out of the house in the next five, 10 minutes. I have an appointment with my psychiatrist today. Um, it's just a check-in, 
you know, it's just a check-in just to see how the medication that I'm on is working now because she did um, double the dosage the last time. So I'm pretty sure she's going to keep me on the same dosage. I just feel it. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. Okay. Anyway, and after that, I have to go to work because this week I'm only going to be in the office yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On Thursday, I have an assessment uh, for my schooling. I'm going to be doing like a, a conversational kind of thing, uh, interview thing with a life coach and as part of my assessment for school. So on Thursday, I'm not going to be going into the office. However, I managed to also squeeze in a nail appointment on Thursday because one of my nails is lifting and it's actually time. I need I need a fresh set. So um, the interview conversation is going to happen in the early afternoon and I squeezed in the nail appointment very early in the morning so that I can come back and look through my books. Um, so this week, I don't see myself doing any personal reading much. I'm going to be reading my books this week because I really want to do well in that assessment. And then I will be done with school for the year. Just I'll, I'll be personally choosing to close off for the year. I've got two more assessments that I'm going to do in January and potentially February. So maybe one in January, one in February. I'm not sure. Um, and then I will be done um, and will be graduating as a life coach in March. So that's that's really, really exciting. It's coming closer and closer. And it's really exciting. Um, and I did get the results for my previous assessment back last week. And I did really, really well with that one as well. So I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm, it's, it's, it's going really well so far. And then on that's Thursday, Friday, I don't think I've got anything planned on Friday, but I am supposed to be meeting one of my mates. I actually don't remember because I, I've, I, I, no, I'm meeting Kanye next week. Something's happening this weekend, and I just don't remember what it is. Either way, so I'm going to set up. I'm going to go. I'm going to pour myself a glass of lemon water, lemon ice water, and then I'm going to head out to my doctor's and then go to work. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> Vlogmas? No. Gosh, that's what's so funny. <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> We're in I'll, I'll so still, much I'll trouble. I'll still push two, two, a three, three a week. Mm. And to me, look at my hair. Look at my hair. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Hi, everybody. I'm a little bit nervous because I have a coaching session with my course facilitator in a minute. And I'm nervous because I have to play the part or the role of the coach. And of course, she's going to be grading me on that. And yeah, so for half an hour, I will be talking to my client. I'm so, so nervous, but at the same time, I'm like so excited. Uh, I've kind of like prepped everything, got my notes down, what, 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 what. So I'm just a little bit nervous, but at the same time, um, so yeah, my phone is definitely going to ring in the next, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, but gonna be okay so Thank you.
Kanya. Oh my god, are we having lunch? Yes. What did you do today? Um, we went to the movies and... We did? Um, we, um, we went to the bookshop. Uh-huh. I got like a raw doll book. Show them. It's a joke one. Okay. And then what did I get? Um, a book for that. That's a, for adults. Mm -hmm. What's it called? <laughs> uh -huh. Can you read it? James Baldwin. It's by James Baldwin. James Baldwin. Yes. Giovanni. Gio Giovanni. He's rude. rude. Excellent. Good job. Thank so proud of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. And then what are we eating now? What uh, are you having? You're having sushi? I'm so jealous. Uh, okay, well, enjoy. Say bye, everybody. Bye. With a smile, maybe? <laughs> oh, hi, friends. Hi. It's uh, Satardag. It's Satardag. And I'm going to be meeting Paelo Ka. 11 so it's currently 25 past 9 and i've been up since 4 and i did a bit of reading of i did a bit of reading of this which i am about 65 odd percent of the way through the book and i'll talk about it a little bit downstairs uh, yeah, about 330 pages. I'm going to take it with me today because I'm going to move. I think after meeting up with Paolo, we're going to meet at uh, Paul in Melrose. And we're going to meet for a bit of a sport of brunch. You know, we're going to just have a bit of brunch. And, uh, and then after that, I really don't really have a plan. So I think I might just linger around there because that's not really an area that I play around much in, even though I've been there many, many times. But I think I might linger around there and and um, hop into the exclusive books over there and have a look around. I promise myself I will not buy a book. I promise you I will not buy a book. I don't know. And uh, I also picked up some new books on my Kindle um this morning at four o'clock in the morning but we'll talk about that a little bit later i'm just pretty much tidying up my bedroom and uh then we're gonna go downstairs and make a cup of tea i got this bottle and i feel like everyone has this bottle and it's worth it because it's a two liter bottle it's quite motivational in its aspects um because it has something for every time of the day you know it just motivates you keeps you going rise and shine let's get started remember your goal keep it up halfway there you can do this that kind of thing and i really really like this this bottle i love it and it comes in all sorts of colors um i actually need to buy one for my sister and my hands are dry yes, today was hair wash day and shave off everything wherever there's hair day so i was in the shower for about 45 minutes but no the water wasn't running the whole time okay when i'm busy the water's off okay but anyway it's fine let's uh, go and make a cup of tea baby <laughs> The truth of the matter is I'm not going to have time to show you the books, okay? Um, I have to go get my face on, okay? I got to get my face on, so that's where we're going to go. I'll show you the books a little bit later. However, this thing was the best thing that Brad Diesel could have ever gotten for me. Because let me tell you, uh, in SA, it's really hard to find... Um, Sorry, 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 sorry. In SA, it's really hard to find 
horror novels and i love horror novels okay and i'm i so I, as much as i love the feeling of a book in my hands i've kind of gone accustomed to reading audio books and uh so I've come accustomed to reading audio books and things like that. So I really don't mind reading or listening to books on a certain device or on audio or whatever, as opposed to just constantly having the book in my hands all the time. And what I've noticed is that with Kindle, okay, sweetie, some of my favorite horror books that I've wanted to pick up but never could find in a uh, game in Salva, in the bookstores in Salva, I find them on Kindle. And I'm finding them on Kindle for like three dollars. You know? I'm finding them there's one that I bought this morning which is like a dollar and seventy four cents or something. And they are much cheaper than they would be if I bought them here. I'm pretty sure. So I'm so excited. I picked up a number of horror novels. So I'm pretty much leaving my Kindle to be the device where I read my horror novels from or where I collect my horror novels. So I've got Confessions, I've got Comfort Me With Apples, Old Country, To See A River Man, Sour Candy, Pen Pal, You've Lost A Lot Of Blood. It's a lot of books that I have um, heard about and heard about the reviews and read the view reviews from some of my favorite um, book creators. So because I'm not the uh, go to TikTok and book talk kind of person to get my book recommendations. Besides, a lot of the book recommendations that are on TikTok are just like, I don't know, it's not me, <laughs> Jedi, it's not me. But um, this became one of the best things for me. And I'm so excited that I have it. And I'm actually starting to use it more now than when I picked it up. So thanks, sir. But uh, now, I'm going to go upstairs and do my face, bro, because time's a waste. When I tell you that I've had the craziest week, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I have barely been sleeping. Um, I'll fall asleep at like 10 or whatever, and then I'm up at like 3, 4. And I, that's been happening every day this week. And not because, not because my mind is elsewhere, not really because of that, just because I've been busy, man. And when I wake up, the only thing that I'm thinking of is, ish, you know, uh, well, I'm up now, I might as well just uh, do my assignment or I might as well just, um, you know, uh, edit a video or whatever. So this week... I filmed seven videos and I edited five of them and I kept on doing that in the early hours of the morning while you guys lick a kalit, little bit, run up and I'm kidding. While you guys were sleeping, some of us were just busy here on our, on our laptops and, and editing and, and I'm never going to push the whole thing. I'm never going to push that thing out or hustle, hustle, sleep when you're dead kind of thing. No, I want you to get rest. I want you to sleep if you need to sleep. Um, I want you to rest and switch off if you need to rest and switch off. I do this kind of stuff because I value, like now, my weekends. I don't like to work over the weekends unless I'm recording a vlog. Typically, most of the time, it's I'm recording a vlog. So I know that over the weekend, my camera and my phone are going to be very busy. Oh, speaking of my phone, I need to charge my phone, but I'll charge it in the car on my way there. So, so it's that kind of setup. You just, I like to, I like to rest over the weekend. I like to give myself that opportunity to spend time with friends, to be with family, uh, to be with, you know, my partner and all of that. So I don't like to look at work over the weekend. So during the week, I kill myself. I literally do. I kill myself um, by pushing myself really hard. Unless, unless I'm really having a bad week. Then then I don't care for, for any of that. But I push myself really hard during the week because then it gives me something to look forward to go weekend. Just rest, 
and um, not caring a damn, you know. School, uh, you probably saw in the footage of me. So, guys, <laughs> so I'm done with school for the year. Okay, I've got two more assessments that are left that I have to do, <clears throat> and I'm going to do that in January because I feel like I'm gonna give myself a break. Everybody deserves a break, everybody goes on a break from school over the Christmas festive season, so I deserve that too. So this went all according to plan because I made sure that when I was planning it out and writing it out on my planner, my boss planner, which you guys are propped against, propped up on right now, when I was writing it out and all of that, I <clears throat> I told myself that come December or come November, end of November, I will have at least, why am I struggling to find my things today? I will have at least done up to assessment six. And I have. I've done up to assessment six. There's eight assessments in total. And the other two, I will do them in January. And I graduate in March. And in March, I'll be a qualified life coach. My darling! My darling! Um, and after having spoken to my life coach, after, not my life coach, but my lecturer, who's been a life coach in the game for about a coach. She's been a coach for about 20 years. And she was telling me after my session with her, she said, you know what? You're, you're good at this. You're going to be a brilliant life coach. Uh, you do, you know, she was assessing me, right? Because I was interviewing her. So um, I was having a coaching session with her rather. And she was like, you're really good at this. You're really, really good at this. Um, and that's when I knew that I'm, I'm meant for this, you know. I'm meant to connect with people. I love to help people. I love to, um, you know, be a source of, not advice. In the life coaching instance, it's not really advice, but be a source of, you know, someone you can chat to, but who can help you figure some things out by making you focus on you know the the focal areas in your life that you have to look at and i was just like man i'm so excited about this i need to get me another one of these what number is this number 40 i need to get it today so i was i was really excited to hear that coming from her so that's going pretty well and then what else happened this week? Hey, man, a lot happened this week, man. Oh, then after that that session, I had to do a write-up on that session, like a feedback of, you know, what I've learned from that session and all of that. So I had to write that out, type it out, all of that, and submit that as part of my assessment six. And that was another thing that just kind of kept me busy. That's fine. It's all done now. And then yesterday I was shooting for the campaign that I have. And I think now I can actually talk about it. I am one of the faces for Vodacom Unlock Your Summer. <laughs> so I'm going to be working with Vodacom for the next couple of months. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about it. I'm so happy about it. It's such a great opportunity. Um, you know, I've always said that, you know, sometimes all you need to do as a person, brand, company, whatever, sometimes just giving someone a chance, you know what I'm saying? Give someone the opportunity to show you what they can do. And I haven't been the luckiest when it comes to getting brand deals and I've kind of accepted that I was just like okay it's fine maybe you know once my numbers get bigger and all that kind of stuff my brows are nuts they're nuts I don't I don't like them I don't like them at all but whatever bro um you know once I get bigger maybe then it'll happen I don't know like I don't know you know but it's fine like I told myself it's okay it's okay in life uh, you know, and Vodacom took that, um, 
chance on me. And when I tell you that I'm going to knock it out the park, I'm not even joking. I'm going to knock it off, out, out the park. But for me, I see it as not only is it my biggest campaign to date, but I see it as an opportunity to also put myself out there and be seen and, you know, as a creator for what I can do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so excited. I feel blessed for that. For that whole deal, that whole campaign, I feel blessed I, I cannot tell you how blessed I feel for that. I feel like God was on my side. Um, because when I received the news for Vodacom, it happened, I think, a day or two after I received some really, really sad news. And I was kind of down in the dumps, you know what I'm saying? And then this came and I was like, okay, okay, God, <laughs> okay, Jesus, okay. Okay, Father, I see you. I see your blessings for me. I see you got plans for me, Father. And he does. Yeah. Going out with Paello today is is something I'm really looking forward to because we've been saying that we're going to do this for a while. But And it's crazy because I'm going to be with her today, but I'm also going to be with her next week. And you'll see why. I see. I'm pretty much done. It's 20 past 10, which is perfect timing. Um... Because I didn't even drink a sip of my tea. Oh, man. Tea is like hugging a mug. Tea is like comfort. Tea is like memories. Tea is like your mom looking at you and smiling. And just smiling because she's proud. Tea is like a, a, a journey. It's like a... It's an exercise. It's like an experience. It's like a moment in time where everything stops. So we go by the ceiling, and we're just gonna wear this girl. Oh my God! Oh my Lord! I feel so bougie. I love it. Yes. Hey, I can get one. No, I should be there around eleven. Okay. Sure. All right. Sure. 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 She's just asking me. How to balat I care? That's a basut, basut. It's a suit to talking to a suit to there. How to balat I care? Hey, when I get to the end, yeah. I just got back home and um, lunch with Paello was amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, and <laughs> my mood kind of changed closer to the end of the lunch, which is great because it was closer to the end of the lunch and it wasn't around the lunch time. Okay, so I'm I'm glad about that. But. Um, <sighs> I don't know what to tell you about that girl, apart from the fact that she's amazing. She's amazing. Paolo's on TikTok, and she's on YouTube, and she's on um, Instagram. Um, she's pretty big on TikTok. Pretty big, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, I'd like to say the beginning of our friendship was... You know, easy, steady. We see each other at different places and all of that. And that's fine, you know. But I don't know. Somehow I was drawn to her. And maybe she was drawn to me. But I can't, I can't speak for her. But I'd like to believe. I mean, we spent the day together. <laughs> you know, we were together for about five hours. 
and that was nice and um i don't know man she opened my thoughts up um with regards to a lot of things but uh, we had chats about a lot of things but the biggest thing that we had chat about was our, our faith you know we're both very big on faith but she i would love to believe and i would like to say she's a lot more bigger than me in terms of her faith and she's louder about it and proud about it and she taught me something that you know it's okay to um, say to to speak loudly and boldly about you know your love for god and your love for church and your love for you know praise faith and worship and all of that she taught me that and today and she made me realize that and i think the reason why i had stopped doing that because i used to i used to do that and i would put up you know bible verses online and share you know the word of the day online and maybe on my youtube uh, on my whatsapp as well and my twitter quite a bit and whatever and i remember when someone was coming at me in my dms and being negative and being snacks uh and mean towards me um they were like uh it's funny because you know you project this really clean image of a woman who is um you know present faithful what 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 meanwhile you don't know what's going on in your own house and i think after i i got that message i i shied away from sharing you know my love for religion my religion my church you know god and all of that i shied away even though i would do it and if you're somebody who follows me on instagram you would know that like i would do it all the time and i would you know do bible verses and whatever but i stopped for a while and then i would do it just here and there but being with her today was just so revealing in so many ways aside from the fact that we had a fantastic time i mean it's saturday the weather is just uh you can have as the mild am eating it's just so beautiful <laughs> the weather is so good and we had a great time we went to brunch at paul then we took a walk and we checked out this new gym called the move gym in melrose which is lovely if if it was closer to where i lived i would probably sign up for that gym but uh it just doesn't make any practical sense for me to sign up but also one of the things that she taught me you know is loving and loving on your mates and showering your mates with with love and gifts and i feel like for her gift giving is one of her love languages for me it's always just you know acts of service <laughs> physical touch and words of affirmation so i love to affirm people but i think gift giving is one of her love languages because because let me show you let me show you um So I'm sitting there waiting in line, right? I'm waiting in line to get us a table at Paul and she rocks up with this and this. And these are amazing. First and foremost, I love orchids. And if you've been following me for years here, you will know that I love orchids. I love them. And she got me sweets. I don't typically have chocolate that much but I love to kind of snack on it when I feel like that sweet tooth and she got me that and I I don't have chocolates in the house it's just for me it's the gesture it's the fact that she saw me and she she knew that she was coming to see me and she thought you know let me just do something to brighten her day and she got me this and I was so floored and i felt so embarrassed and i felt so i felt so embarrassed <laughs> i felt like i could have done better you know i could have done the same thing i could have i mean i talked to her regularly and i felt like i could have done the same thing i could have and i felt small um she doesn't know this but she's probably going to watch this video and be like no baby girl and i felt kind of small like i could have done better So what I opted to do was pay for our lunch because I felt like I need to do something. I need to somebody is what's up in me. Okay, I need to do something. I need to, you know, all that kind of stuff. And anyway, nevertheless, after that we had a great time. We, you know, walked about 
I went in shop to shop, had a look around. Um, she insisted we go into exclusive books. I was literally just going to walk right past, but we didn't. And then we saw, like in Melrose, they have these sellers that just kind of like line the, the pathways or the corridors of uh, 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 Melrose Arc. And we saw this lady who was selling stainless steel dainty jewelry. And I got this one, which I felt is amazing because she got it in gold. I got it in, in silver. And I got another one, which is written faith in silver. And these are stainless steel. So I'm ready to take a shower in them and take, you know, and, and do whatever I want to see. Because I told that lady that if they change, and then now my skin reacts to stuff. So if they change... I'm going to come back here and be like, baby girl, for the amount of money we paid, no, 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 something high right. Um, So I got this and she kind of tempted me into getting it because she's like, oh, I'm going to get the gold on. And I'm like, girl, girl, don't do that to me. But uh, that's another thing. Like she, she kind of reminded me that it's okay, you know, live your life, enjoy, uh, trust and believe that things are going to be okay. Which is something that I typically do, even in the months where I'm just like, eh, good tricky. And that's something else that she told me is that we keep our problems so it's amazing to be around people who teach you stuff, who make you see things in a different light. And she was telling me that we keep our problems hidden away from the world and people think that we are perfect and we're whatever. Meanwhile, we are go-sharing, you know. Uh, we have months where it's just like, oh my God, this was tricky, you know. And for me, November was one of the trickiest months I've had all year because I had to spend so much for the people I love, but I had to spend a lot more than I typically would each month. So leading up to now, to the end of November, I was going through it. And she was like, you know, you need to talk about that. I feel like you need to um, speak those things out loud so that, you know, God comes through for you. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, you're right. And, um, ah, it was an eye-opening lunch. It wasn't just that lunch where you go and you have lunch and you have drinks and you have whatever and blah, blah, blah. And mind you, she doesn't drink. So I was the only one who was like, okay, fine, I'll have a mimosa. Um, but it, it, it was eye-opening for me. And I'm so grateful for her. Um, and I'm grateful for what she opened my eyes up to. Uh, even though I, I practice things like gratitude and humility every day and all of that. And I remember her saying as we were walking to the car park and I, and I mentioned something and she was like, you know, it's crazy how humble you are because I didn't even know this about you. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> but anyway, it was great. And one of the biggest things is that I got a message on my phone that upset me so much while I was with her. Luckily, it was after the lunch and we were walking towards the car park and we were at this, this place where we were getting these things. And uh, I instantly responded. I told her what it was and I instantly responded and I said, you know what, it's fine. It's fine. Forget it. It's fine. I'm fine. It's okay. And she's immediately said, yeah, but that's not nice. Like, it's, it's hurtful. You know, that message is not nice given A, B, C, Z. And in that moment, I felt validated. I felt like I was allowed. This is so emotional for me. I don't even know why. I felt like I was allowed to be, I was in a space where it was safe to be upset and also to be sad and also to be hurt by something because I've gone through my whole life protecting my hurt and my sad by masking it, by saying things like, I'm fine. I don't care. I'm fine. I don't care. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so it was an awesome, awesome lunch. My f camera is saying that I have a minute left to record. So there's a couple of things I need to delete on this SD card. But I'll probably be back a little bit later. I just wanted to share with you how it went. And share some pictures and images of us being out together. And yeah, we had a great time. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Maybe we can talk about those books. <laughs> Alright, 